hi everyone welcome to this session so today we will be solving this very very interesting uh, interview question okay and this can be asked for your uh, like online assessment test as well okay so we have a like op amp based circuit with uh, bjt's and resistance right and we have to find what is the v out and i out for this circuit okay and we have to assume all the op amps are ideal okay and the <coughs> Op amps, uh, the supply to be to the op amps are 15 volt. Okay, so let's say this is like that. Okay, 0 volt and 15 volt, and here the same case 0 volt and 15 volt. Okay, and uh, all op amps are ideal. Okay, ideal op amps. Now, what you will do so we can see that uh, the feedback coming here is like in this case, coming here is the negative. Uh, terminal and here also it comes in negative terminal. So, so we will assume uh, there is a negative feedback present, but this is not the thing. Okay, so we have to see the negative feedback correctly. So, uh, uh, when one see this problem uh, and we'll start solving like that. So, if this is 5 volt, this is 5 volt, right? And if this is okay, let me see. So, so, so if this is 5 volt, so there will be a current of. Uh, 5 volt minus 1 kilo ohm that is nothing nothing but our let's say i i q1 okay i q1 i q1 is nothing but let's say 5 milliamperes right so all of the current will flow through this right so this will be 5 milliampere as well because there is no current can flow through right so this will be 5 milliampere as well okay now so we can see that uh, there will be a voltage drop across 1.8 kilo ohm resistance then what will be the drop so the drop uh, v let's say vd v drop will be nothing but 5 into 1.8 so this will be 9 volt right so if this is 9 volt drop so that that is 15 volt and there is a 9 volt drop so what will be the voltage so this node voltage will be uh, 6 volt right so there will be a 9 voltage drop so okay so now we have 6 volt there so this voltage goes here 6 volt so we will write v out as 6 volt and if this is v out is 6 volt uh, and, and 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 so so we can see that uh, okay on second so this is 6 volt right and let's say same current has to flow through this path right so we can see that there no current can go through this path right in this op amp terminal so we can see that the current through this upper 1 kilo ohm resistance is nothing but 15 minus 6 divided by 1 kilo ohm okay so this will be nothing but 9 milliamps okay so you will write i out as 9 milliamp so this is absolutely wrong okay uh, why wrong i am telling okay so so you will do like that but this is not the way okay so actually we have to see that uh, if there is like negative feedback present correctly or not okay so assume like by seeing the feedback coming to the negative uh, terminal is is doesn't ensure that the feedback feedback is definitely negative okay so now okay let me copy the circuit again okay okay now and and here here i assume that a beta is almost like very very greater than let's say 100 okay so here i am assuming no current like the ib current is almost zero for this bjt is okay so that i approximately find this type of thing okay <coughs> now to check to check negative feedback we need to find first open circuit test okay so basically if there is a diode types of thing mosfet kind of things or bjt kind of thing we need to check first they are uh, like they are conducting or not or they are uh, like they are uh, one or not okay the diode or mosfet or bjt is exactly conducting or not okay so we, we for that we need to check open circuit test okay so now we have to do that here as well right so for open circuit test what we do we cut this section cut this section and cut this section okay so let me do that so if i redraw the picture so this will be okay so this will be like that okay this is bjt so 1k okay so this will be open circuit as well right there is 15 volt now 
this node voltage is going to plus side of the MOSFET. Let's say this is MOSFET 2, okay. Let's say okay, op amp 2. Let's say this is A2 and this is A1, okay. This is A1. So this is plus minus and here is like that, okay. Similarly, so we will have this kind of so this is open. There is a, <coughs> a BJT. This is on K as well, and there is a negative feedback like that. Okay, and this is open circuit as well, and this is our uh, okay. So we have a one kilo ohm resistance here. Then it is 15 volt, right? So this is our uh, uh, this is the circuit for our op op open circuit test, right? So this will be again disconnected, right? So now what is the voltage coming out? Coming these three nodes, okay. We, we need to see that so that we can comment the Q1 and Q2 are on or off, okay. So, this is our Q1 and this is Q2. So, we can see that for open circuit, so there is no current, so this 15 volt will reach there, okay. This is 15 volt, okay. So, this this comes here, so this node is 15 volt as well, okay. And this node is our plus, okay. So, let me so this is our plus, node, okay. Uh, yes, now. Again, so this is 15 volt, so this 15 volts will also come here, okay. And uh, so we can see that no, if this is open circuit, no current can go through this branch as well. So this zero voltage will reach there, so this is zero volt, okay. And so if, if this is zero volt, this is also zero volt. So so this op amp will act as a comparator, right. So the uh, in non inverting terminal is higher than the inverting terminal. So here we will give 15 volt as well, okay, plus 15 volt, right, like we will get the plus VDD, so here plus VDD is 15 volt, uh, yes, yes, 15 volt, okay, so now, uh, okay, let me check, yes, so, uh, so we can see that here VBE is greater than, let's say, here, let's say VBE, we have 0.7 volt, okay, so here we can see that, VV is greater than 0 0.7 volt. So, this diode will conduct. Okay. So, like this BJT will conduct. Definitely. Now, for this case. So, now. Uh, okay. Yeah, one second. Now, effectively, we can see that the two nodes voltage here and here become same. 15 volt and 15 volt. Right. So, uh, so these two nodes are same, okay. So, the difference voltage for this uh, A2 amplifier is 0, right. So, the 0 into something will be, will give 0 volt, right. So, op amp output like the second op amp output will be 0 volt. Now, what will be, and, and there, here no current is also flowing. So, this 0 volt will reach there, right. So, here the VBE2, VBE2 is less than 0 0.7 volt, okay. So, this uh, like this uh, BJT will not conduct. Basically, this BJT is off. Okay. So, again, we are assuming previously there is like negative feedback all, all, all together, right? But here we are finding this MOSFET is not actually uh, uh, like actually not uh, turning on. Okay. So, this diode, this BJT is off. Okay. So, this diode, this BJT is not conducting. So, we cannot say from here to there, there is a negative feedback present. Okay. So let me recheck, uh, recheck the analysis. So here, here, this 15 volt is reaching there, and uh, so no current can go through. So this 15 volt is also reaching there, right? Yes. So, so this 15 volt, yes. So we will have the V difference at the input is zero. So we will get the zero voltage here. Okay. So this di this video is not going. Yes. So. Uh, this open circuit test ensures us that this VJT is off. Okay. Now, what will be our uh, like? Uh, uh, what will be our uh, like uh, yeah, re equivalent uh, uh, circuit? So this will be nothing but that. Okay. So we have a op amp one. Then this this VJT is conducting. We have a another resistance here. 
this is plus this is minus and here is on k and here is 15 volt right now this is not conducting so this becomes open circuit right so this is our v out here so now this if this uh, if this vjd is not conducting then what will be i out so this becomes open circuit now so i out will be zero volt right so okay let me draw the picture so this will be like this so this current is zero right on kilo ohm resistance so i out is zero ampere okay so this is the one of the answer of our question okay now so and there is a 5 volt and there is a feedback like that right on kilo ohm so if there is a negative feedback here plus and minus or how to check the negative feedback so if i increase there this voltage will also increase and this voltage is also increase and eventually this voltage will decrease so that ensures the feedback is negative right we, we all know that right how to find the feedbacks okay okay so what what ensures negative feedback i am increasing that node this node will also increase small signally because this is a like if in, input is there and output is there this is a, a common uh, uh, like common uh, what, what is called like the source for, uh, like the emitter follow right so this node voltage will also increase so that this node voltage will increase so the inverting terminal voltage is increased the output will eventually decrease so that ensure there is a negative feedback so if there is a negative feedback we can direct use virtual virtual short concept okay virtual short concept okay that's in that that provides us this terminal voltage equal to that terminal voltage okay so now this 5 volts comes here okay now there is a 1 kilo ohm resistance across 5 volt so there is a current of 1 uh, uh, 5 milliamps okay 5 milliamps so uh, assuming beta is very very high for this uh, uh, bjt is uh, so the iv is almost equal to zero here so all of the current will be flowing through that branch so this ic is also 5 milliamps okay so this current will ha has to flow through this 1 kilo ohm resistance as well okay so what will be the drop across this 1 kilo ohm uh, okay sorry sorry this was 1.8 sorry so this was uh, this was 1.8 right 1.8 kilo so the drop will be nothing but if 1 kilo uh, if uh, on uh, 5 milliamps current is flowing through 1.8 kilo ohm resistance the drop will be nothing but 9 volt right so let's say 1.8 kilo ohms into 5 milliamps so this will be 9 volt so there will be a 9 volt drop so uh, actually i have also uh, previously find that if this is 15 volt and if there is a 9 voltage drop so this node voltage will be 6 volts 6 volt right okay so 6 volt so now okay now now uh, okay 6 volts okay so now what will the uh, voltage output so we can see that op amp input terminal current is always zero as there is a ideal ideal uh, op amp so there is a no voltage drop across this resistance as well so this 15 volt will reach there right so our v out is also 15 volt okay so actually what i am doing this type of whole calculation is i want to find what is the voltage at this terminal as well and what is the current flowing through this iq1 as well okay so actually we have find that what is the iq1 i q2 okay and what is the v out of this uh, v out at this node right this is the output node and what is the v plus 2 okay v plus 2 okay so this is the four quantity we need want to find okay so that i i have shown you all of this calculations okay i have shown you okay once again i have shown you all of this calculations okay so effectively our v out is 15 volt and i out is 0 ampere but we on also want to find the current through this fast BJT and the voltage at this node. Okay. Or voltage of the, like the, uh, we can see that, let's say the VC of the fast BJT. Okay. So, so this is all about this problem. So I think you will get like, uh, like some concrete, uh, like concrete intuition behind this type of circuit. So we, we cannot assume if there is like the directly there is connected negative terminal uh, output to negative terminal there is negative feedback that doesn't ensures uh, like hundred percent times okay like that that doesn't ensure there is a definitely a negative feedback so we have to see the uh, if there is diode and MOSFET and like BJT we have to find they are conducting or not so that we can comment the feedbacks okay so for that we need to first check the uh, 
uh, open circuit or whatever short circuit is okay we can do the both so this is how we can uh, we can calculate this this type of uh, problems okay thank you so here the output is 15 volts okay because they, no current can go through the op amp terminal okay no no current can go through the op amp terminal okay so the ir drop across this resistance is zero so this becomes short circuit you can you may say so this 15 volt reaches there okay so this is 15 volts so thank you everyone you can put your valuable signals thank you